Maybe. Alrighty, let's see about this. We do have an elevator right here. Oh, what? Um, oh, but, 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 what is your face? Hey, everybody, welcome back to Falcon's Personal Nightmare. The coma cutting class. Alrighty. Um, new day of recording for one. I do know that we last left off with the wrap up point in the west building. I do believe we got the passcode required to get into the north building now. So that's going to be our goal here for today. Obviously, as we go through a new building, I'm only expecting new dangers to be. Introduce in a sense, right? I'm playing with my volume up for one because I've realized how important it is to actually have volume for this game for the footsteps. And I've been going to the comments as well. And oh, good god, footsteps already. Go up. Are we fine up here? We're fine. Volume is up. I just want to make sure this isn't gonna completely deafen me when something crazy goes down. Oh, I heard her growling again. Oh, good god, where is she coming from? I hope it's the left hand side. Please tell me she chased me down that side because over here would be pretty bad. I'm just going to run right now. All I can do is, do is get to the north building right now. Anyway, in the comments, people are telling me, Falcon, not only can you note where she's at from the, um... Ooh. What is this? I found a note. There are more. I was surprised to learn there are relics like my recorder in every old school of the world. My recorder is one of the most powerful relics of Sewa High. All things considered, I'm pretty damn lucky. Maybe I should visit some other schools at night to see what I can dig up. Other schools at night? So you can actually go to different schools too? Oh, like literally a different school, I get you. Alrighty, so in the comments we were telling me, Falcon, not only do you know where she's at based on the footsteps, but also the growling that you hear on occasion is actually her as well, which is how she was able to ambush me last time around, which was terrifying in its own right. You know what? The volume's just a bit too loud for me. Just one second while I take care of this. It's just a little bit too deafening. I do have to keep an eye out for the footsteps, or an ear out anyway, but... At the same time, I gotta make sure I'm not over here yelling into the microphone. Because it's a bit more difficult for uh, post-editing to lower the volume, so I'm not over here blowing your eardrums out. Uh, the North Building, finally. Let's get inside. Um, Cursey could go away now, too. I guess we should turn this on now. Do we have a map for this area? No, we don't. Main Building, we have still a quest marker, but I do believe we have to... Do something in an order building to actually get to that one first. No no map, though. That's actually pretty bad. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, Young Ho. This lock is different from the others. It needs some type of special key. It's too dark. Looks like the way is blocked anyway. I was going to say, don't you have a flashlight? Just use the flashlight, dog. Uh, the place was just renovated. The school library and art classrooms are here, too. Let's check out the map. Oh, nice. We got a map finally. So, um, let's see. We're down here. And we want to get up to here, library lobby. So we just go straight up right now. Okay. Oh, but that's locked though. Remember that um, door was locked, so I can't go upstairs. Do I have to take an elevator or something? Maybe. Alrighty, let's see about this. We do have an elevator right here. Oh, what? Um, oh, but, 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 what is your face? Look at the look at the animation over here. Something comes out of his mouth and it goes into his stomach and then back out. I guess that would make sense, you know. Goes into your stomach, comes back out the only other way. It's that's creepy. Okay, isn't this um the guy who was the bully? It looks like the bully. Uh, where do you think you're going? Holy smokes! What the hell am I looking at? Hey, stop your rubbernecking! Why are you so scared? Don't tell me you can't recognize your old pal Myungil. Myungil? Uh, I, I need to get by. I have to go upstairs. What's the rush? What's the rush, young hoser? You're not in any danger, at least while you're truly patrolling these halls. I beg to differ. He doesn't look remotely human. I better not get too close. Well, don't I have to get close? That's the only thing I can do. I'm over here locked out. I can't go downstairs. The elevator isn't obviously working. I, maybe, is it? No, it's not working. Okay. So we have to get close? Oh, good God. Please, why are you making me do this? I try to avoid danger in any sort of obstacle I come to. Uh, get out of my way, Myungil. This isn't even the real you. You're just another part of this shitty dream. Interesting theory. Maybe you'll wake up from this dream, or maybe you'll end up in an ambulance just like Taehwan. Wouldn't that be something? What? Taehwan wanted to kill himself. You telling me you had something to do with that? This isn't a dream, idiot. And what if I did? You see, I run these things around here. I offered him my protection, but Taegoon decided to be a hero and said he couldn't live in my terms, so I obliged. Pretty reasonable if you ask me. You asshole! Shit, shouldn't have punched him. He's like a block of granite. You punched him? The ball's on you, young ho. <laughs> the ball's on you, young ho. I never thought I would ever say those words in my life, but there you go. Uh, Myungil, uh, can't you get it? Can't you get anything through that tick skull of yours? You really want to have a go at me? 
Stop it, both of you. Oh, it's Mina. Oh, it's the Mina that I rescued. Mina? Oh, hey. Um, what are you doing here, babe? Mina? I knew it. Trying to pretend you're a nice guy to, f to my face, then you bully and turn in young ho behind my back. You make me sick. What? Babe, you've got it all wrong. I've never... Oh, just look at me. At young ho here. We're pals. It was just a bit of hoss horseplay. Right, young hoes? Uh, I mean, young ho? What kind of friend treats someone like a servant? What kind of friend kills his friends? You're despicable. I, I like that. What kind of friend kills his friends? Well, let me tell you, Mina, I don't think any sort of friend kills their friends. I don't think that's any type of friend. I don't think it's a particular kind of friend that kills his friends. It kind of just stops being a friend at that point. But it's just me. You're despicable, and I don't want anything to do with you. Mina, darling, I'm just doing what I have to do. It's a doggy dog world out here. It's survival of the fittest, babe. Survive however you want, but you're dead to me. <laughs> eh, more than one way, right? Come on, Mina, this is all a big misunderstanding. Just ask Young Ho. Hey, wait! They disappeared. Did she just wink at me? Wow, Mina really had my back just now. Sometimes just having one true friend can make the world seem a lot less bleak, even at times like this. Whoa, my social studies grade just changed in the report card. That's actually kind of hilarious. Huh. That's very, very interesting. Okay. Um, okay, let's go forward here. Now, my, my big concern so far... What is this, baseball? My big concern so far... Let's find a hiding place. Great. Is, um, when I'm running for my life, I, I tend to mash on... <gasps> is that a bot? No, it's just a bag. I thought there was, like, a head lying on that bench right here. Look at this. Doesn't it look like a head lying right there? It's just me, probably. I'm freaked out already. But my big concern when I play this game is that I always smash on shift when I'm running for my life, so I get the whole sticky keys thing that pops up. I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time around. I really should look into a way to disable that. Why? What the hell is sticky keys for, by the way? Like, I have never used sticky keys once in my life. The message always pops up. I always can, you know, dismiss it instantly, so I never really read it, because it's kind of annoying. Anyway, uh, I found a bag of uh, devs' chips. Good. Mungil. Myungil has a hush, uh, he, uh, hush. Myungil has a huge crush on Mina, but she doesn't seem very receptive to his overtures. Mm. I like how that's a memo over here. Content of the board. Attention all, don't miss the event of the semester. Monday evening, music teacher, golden foot, no, battles coach, Iron Wall Park for foot volleyball supremacy. There, be there or be square, Gary Shen. Found a bottle of water, that's for my stamina regeneration. Hey, let's raise some hell later, Tygoon. The douchebag sitting in front of me had the audacity to report me, disrespectful little prick. Time to teach him a lesson, Myungil. Hmm. Found another coin. Um, someone put this bench here to block the door, but it seems like they really wanted to seal it off. Well, technically I wanted to find what's in here. Nothing useful? Okay, well that makes sense. I found a note. Uh, the warning. His name is Tyhoon from Class 1B. Not the most popular kid and a bit of a geek. He's been a loner since middle school and is often asked, ostracized by other students. His seat is right in front of Myungil, who can be a bully at times. Why am I always getting reports on Myungil's behavior? He used to be such a good kid, but I guess he's been running with the wrong crowd lately. I need to have a talk with him, written by Mad Dog. Alrighty. So I guess we're done here for the conceivable future. Let's step out, as much as I really hate doing so. I would really love to find a, uh, a safe point. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. A note. I don't know why, but I felt really hungry for the last past few days. I'm not working out more than usual, but my stomach growls nonstop, begging for food. I even asked the guys to pick up some packs of my favorite peaks of bread, but whenever I eat them, it's like they're not even reaching my stomach. No effect. The strongest thing, the strangest thing is that the only experience is at school. Mungil. Huh. Probably has a bit of, uh, explanation as to why his mouth is like the size of his head, and there's a hole in his stomach, too. And the food just keeps going in and out. Oh, I get you now. I'm getting it. Alright. Oh, what? 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 Did I just hear the gate close? What gate close? Jason, was that you? <gasps> what the hell is... What is up with her eyes? Are those teeth... Are they sewn shut? Why does she have, like, a choker grin? Come here. Let's get to know each other. From what point? Behind me or in front of me? You can't escape from me! Um, should I be running? Should I be running? My bag is full. Should I be running? <laughs> Go to the pee I'm not sure if I should be running. I don't hear the footsteps. <gasps> I hear the growling outside now. Save my progress, please. 
I hear swinging outside, too. And I hear, now I hear the footsteps. Okay, please tell me I could hide somewhere here. Please tell me I could hide. <gasps> oh my goodness, God. Uh, go to the bag? I packed up already. Uh, let's get rid of the chocolate bars, maybe? I think she's right outside. She's right outside. Oh, please, don't come in here. Dear music teacher, no. Coach Park wants to see you in the gym after school on Saturday. That is, if you're still looking for someone to play football. Okay, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just trying to read, but... I'm trying to make sure I don't get ambushed. I found a coin. Nothing useful. Oh my goodness, God. Ah! Oh. That, that thing came out of nowhere. Stop it. This is not fair. Toilets? I know I could hide in a baseball room if I had to. Where is she, though? I gotta go out, don't I? Okay. She's gotta be behind me. Gotta be behind me. So if I just walk slowly, and with no light, she probably won't notice me. It's blocked off. Are you gonna be kidding me right now? Don't turn on that faucet! <gasps> what the hell? This is supposed to be my safe zone! What is this place? No way is this a girl's room. Oh man, this doesn't feel stable at all. No time now, gotta run? Gotta run where? I can't see a damn thing, it's too dark. Okay. I guess I'll turn on the flashlight. Please. Why can't I go forward? Go get out of here, cursor. Read, read the note. It's too dark, I just turned on the flashlight for a reason. What the hell is happening here? The highways of life leads to the only destination dead. However, that doesn't mean there's only one route. And there are plenty of detours and shortcuts to take as you go. Okay. Some will ride in better cars. Others will sputter across the finish line in a beat-up in a beat-up jalopy. Uh, some will only make a few stops. Others will stop every chance they get to enjoy the journey. Say, well, high school is like a bus. Are there lockers upside down? I'm sorry. I'm trying to read, but I'm freaked out. <laughs> Say, well, high school is like a bus driving off to that final destination. We're being ushered to the end of the road together. There won't be any stops along the way, but at least we're not traveling alone. Unknown. This writing looks so familiar. It was just me all along. I'm the one who wrote it, maybe. Oh, good God. Can I hide here at least? Yes, I can hide here. Shoot. Oh, I found a jump off point. I don't know where I'm at in life. <laughs> I'm on the other side of the building now. Okay. Okay. Am I outside of a classroom? Inside of a classroom? I don't even know. I think I'm inside of something, though. Someone or something has piled up a ton of furniture here. I'll have a look for another way around. Okay. My bag is full. This is starting to be a big problem now. Uh, you're for stamina as well. Recover stamina faster. Restores your stamina. I guess we'll have some of these as well. Uh, let's leave at least one bottle of water in case I need to, like, run extra long. Pick this up. Found a coin. Remember, we want to start investing in the bigger healing items so we make more room. By the way, what's going on with my the status effect? This whole yin yang symbol. I'm not sure what's happening here. Oh, good God. I'm so. I'm in the library now. I'm so, like, confused as to where the hell I'm at now. And, like, how to get back. And how to go forward. And how do I even breathe or talk right now? Nothing useful here. What's in here? Nothing useful. Okay. Starting to see a pattern. What's what's back here? Nothing? Okay, can I hide here? No, that's where I got in from. Gotcha. Right, I forgot. I'm just looking for a place to hide, just in case it comes down to that. Nothing useful. Art and music section. Oh, are we looking for the music thing as well, maybe? Let's look at our thing here. I need to find some clues about the Psycho Killer, the Shade, and the reason why I'm here. Doesn't really tell me much now, does it? Uh, art and music section. Nothing useful. Television. I might, might, might want to turn that on, otherwise you might alert 
that thing to our location here, physical education section. Okay. The school locked down these high NPCs, so they're only good for searching the library's catalog. I wonder if they'll run spacecraft in the highest settings. This guy. This guy! I found it. Okay, whatever. So, that's it for here, right? I guess we have to step outside. There's a... Shit, she's out here. There's some kind of... Shit, what's happening? I missed that note because I'm so free. I know she's here. I hear the growling. Um, interesting. The library's assistant noted that someone's been sneaking into the North Building at night. Whoa, it was Taehoon from 1B, Myungil's victim. He was doing something there but refused to spill the beans to anyone. He got caught sneaking into the media room on the fifth floor. What if everything going on here is somehow linked to this attempted suicide? Well, this could be coming handy. The media room's keycard has been between the note papers. I hear the footsteps now! No, no, no! No, no, no! Can she follow me through holes? <laughs> can she follow me through holes? I can't even laugh right now. I'm. Why is the music different now? By the way, is it just me? Like, it just sounds like, God damn, I'm gonna die? Okay. Just, just catch my breath here for a second. Uh, let's look at our bag here. Uh, the media room key. To protect the expensive projector system, the librarian was entrusted with the only key to the media room. Media room. Which is where we were trying to go, but then, you know, the scariest music of all time hit and that woman seems faster. I think she now has the axe. First she had the knife, I guess now she has the axe, so it's a different ball game. Uh, okay. Is there any room in my inventory for the other stuff? No. Let's make room for it just in case I have to pick something on the fly. Uh, we should keep this for poison effect, definitely. Uh, we have... These bandage dudes are kind of really useful because uh, I, I tend to get like surprised with them, don't I? So... let's just have a few of these dev espresso. Let's keep like two of them around maybe. That should be enough. Maybe two? Okay. Oh, so what I'm taking over here is actually alert. It's the status effects positive. It was the yin yang and now I have the uh, crazy eye apparently. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Look, man. All I have to do is probably get into that media room if I can. Wait, I'm not... What? Why well, am I in the library now? Did I take the wrong one? Uh... Was there another jump off point? Huh. No, I guess I was here the entire time. I thought I was, like, up by the media room already. Well, okay, we have to step outside and go upstairs then. I hear the growling. Hear the growling. Okay. Falcon, if we're making this jump run, we have to go to the left. And then go upstairs. So, presumably, I think she's at the left-hand side. I, I can't be too sure about it, but I'm, I think that's where she's at. I obviously cannot jump through or can't hide anymore. Those are just jump-off points. I hear the craziest weird noises right now. Pick stuff up. Nothing useful. Mathematics. Okay. You can borrow as many books as you like from here, just be sure to return them on time. I think the way to get around her is just jump into the other room and then come back at another door. So at this point, we're done hiding. We just have to keep running and evading. You can borrow... Yeah, okay. So... I have to imagine now that she has the axe, she probably does more damage with each attack. I don't hear her anymore right now. But poison stuff is still around. I can hear stuff. Ooh. I hear her now. Get through. Just get through. Just get through. Just don't even look anywhere. Just go up. No, mama! No, no! Oh, good God. She hurts you by a lot now. This is probably the worst idea I've ever had. No! I'm not sure if I'm safe, but I gotta have some stuff here. Um, bleeding. Are you seeing what she looks like now? Hold up. Get, get out of this bag. <gasps> I'm not sure if you noticed when I, I couldn't really look because I was trying to use the item, but I kind of caught it by the end of the, like, the corner of my eye. Like, her, her body looks all contorted now. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Okay, we're on the fourth floor. We just need to get up to the media room, I think, I hope. Is there a possibility I could find myself a save point anywhere? Like, that'd be great. That's locked tight. I'm so glad I was able to find one of these that's unlocked. Because, oh my god. Alrighty. Nothing useful. I'm noticing now that the items are becoming really, like, useful because, um, things hurt now. Like, a lot. Nothing useful here. Okay. She saw me, by the way. Come inside, I'm gonna run by. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. We can't stop anywhere. We just gotta go upstairs. We gotta run. Forget every- Oh! <gasps> it's locked. Why is it locked? Windows noises? Stop happening. You're confusing me. I think that there's something happening in my background recording right now. Okay, let's just chill here. Please don't come inside. Please don't come inside. Okay. Strange behavior. My friend Seho has been acting strange since the day we found a rusty old recorder. He kept going on about the co antique it was, but I couldn't have cared less. You're telling me I couldn't even care about reading this right now. Since then, he's looked like a mess, and judging from his eyes, probably isn't sleeping well. He also seems distracted whenever he sees me now. I don't know why he's behaving this way, but surely it's not because he thinks I'm gonna make fun of his little recorder. By Tehon. The guy, that's the guy who committed suicide allegedly. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying not to read too fast here, but I'm. Everything's in real time, so while I'm reading, things could happen. And I'm, I'm quite freaked out about it. Coin? I would love to find a place to use all these coins soon. Because we're going to need them if we want to survive now, it does seem. Nonfiction. Okay. Are we done in this room? What about a place to save? <gasps> Okay, there was a, a slashy ghost there. Ah, uh, bandages. Son of a biscuit. I don't think I should be using it right now. Just in case I get attacked by the monster. The shade, I guess. Coin. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the, the bleeding effect for a while here and see what happens. Um, okay. So we know that um the the, the stairs are locked. How am I supposed to get up there then? And we've gone through this entire Section 2, right? I didn't miss out anything. I'm gonna turn on this flashlight as much as it terrifies me to do so. Maybe I'm missing something because I need a flashlight. Oh god, the growling is real. She's not gonna notice me because of the flashlight, is she? Oh. She's basically camping here. Tehun was up to something and failed. I might find out more in the media room. Right, well, I was trying to get there. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything with the... Oh! oh my god, I just saw her up close. Uh, keep running. How do I play this out? I don't even know. Can't... Just jump out the window. It's fine. Just, just fucking do it that way instead. Nothing useful here. I gotta go back down, I figure. Okay. <gasps> That's a dead end. I'm losing health, by the way, so I should probably just use that bandage as much as I didn't want to. Okay. Get get out of here. Get get, get out of here. Just get out. Okay. Don't, don't, don't get poisoned now, though. Can you burst already, please? Can you, can you burst? Thank you. Can you burst too, please? Like, fast? Should we go downstairs, or what, what do you think should be the, the our point of attack here? All the elevators are messed up, too. I'm not sure if we've been all the way to the right. I know we've checked everything inside of here and outside. No, we can't go to the right. What do you guys think? I'm a little bit at a lot. I guess we go go downstairs again. Oh, fuck the growling. I saw I got poison too. What? I was I was hitting E to get out of there, but I got poison. I guess I wasn't to the left enough, and I wouldn't go up. Oh my god! 
All right, we're going to wrap it up here. I'm going to reload, and uh, next episode we will continue where technically where we're at, and we'll go forward from that point on. I guess it was about time I wrapped up the episode anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support this me a lot. Um, we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. I'll catch you guys next time. My heart needs a break.